Hi, everybody. Thank you, Nova, for inviting me to do this webinar. I'm really excited to talk about, talk about acid base and tic-tac-toe. This is a topic that is really challenging, I think, for a lot of people to get all of the inverse relationships and, and everything put together. Uh, but I found a trick, this tic-tac-toe method, and it has really changed my life in my ability to understand acid base, and I find it kind of fun now. So let's just jump right in and get started with this. Um, what's important to know is just kind of the basic building blocks for what we're doing when we're talking about acid base. And the first part is hydrogen. Uh, hydrogen ions in the body are necessary for um, pretty much all of the enzyme function that's happening, as well as keeping cell structure normal, um, so much relies on the hydrogen content of the blood being in this really um, narrow range of normal. And so the body's goal is to just keep the hydrogen constant. And so um, we're going to see uh, compensation in order for the body to keep that number where it really wants it to be. Um, pH is what we're using to measure the hydrogen content in the blood. So that's what we're talking about when we say is pH is high or low. We're really talking about the hydrogen concentration. Lastly, there are buffers in the body, and what these are doing, um, either donating or accepting hydrogen ions to kind of balance things out. I, I hated chemistry. I did not do well in chemistry when I was in college, and so I'm not going to draw equations and balance them out for you, but that is what's happening with buffers. Uh, the goal of a buffer is to minimize a pH change. So whatever disease process is happening, the body is going to try to minimize any dramatic changes, and it will use buffers in order to do that. So um, as there's relationships with acid base, and that's part of what makes it so confusing. Um, but hydrogen and pH are the, the big ones that have this inverse relationship. So hydrogen is an acid. Um, and a low pH means a very acidic environment, and a high pH means a very alkalotic or basic environment. Um, and here's where things start to get confusing. The lower the pH, the more acidic, that means there's more hydrogen because hydrogen is an acid. So low acidic pH means lots of hydrogen. A high or basic pH means not enough hydrogen, and that's our first inverse relationship when we're talking about acid base. Here's our bicarbonate, uh, HCO3. This is the main buffer of extracellular fluid in the body. Um, there are quite a few buffers that are kind of rolling around, but, but bicarb is the main one that we're going to be measuring when we're doing our acid base analysis and looking at our blood gas results. pH is going to follow bicarbonate. So the more bicarb you have, the higher or more basic the pH of the body is going to be. The less bicarb that you have circulating around, the lower the pH is going to be. Um, so bicarb is um, a base, and it is kind of the opposite of hydrogen. Bicarbonate is our metabolic indicator. So that's going to make sense as we start to, to do our analysis, but just remember bicarb metabolic. Then we got in our venous blood gas measurements is our pH, bicarbonate, and then CO2, so carbon dioxide. Um, the important thing to remember about carbon dioxide is that it is an acid. So if we think about bicarb being a base, carbon dioxide, when combined with water, is going to make an acid in the body. Here again, because carbon dioxide is an acid, it has an inverse relationship to the pH, just like hydrogen does. So if we don't have enough, CO2, we're going to have a more basic or increased pH. If we have a lot of CO2, we are going to have a decreased or acidic pH. CO2 is our respiratory indicator. So bicarb is metabolic, CO2 is respiratory. So go down the rabbit hole of, of not being able to relate this back to patients, and it's really important that we understand what this means for the animals in the hospital and why it's important that we notice what their acid-base status is and do something to correct it. 